We all want to hit the ball longer and straighter with the driver, but we also want to be more consistent. So in this video today, I'm gonna to talk about three steps to make you hit the ball longer, straighter, but also be more consistent on every drive you hit. So yeah, we wanna hit this longer and straighter, but we also wanna be more consistent. Now, to be more consistent, we need to get the little things right, the little details right. So if we're good and consistent in the little things, we're gonna find that we're consistent in what we do with the drive and with our swing. Okay, so let's start with the first thing that's very important. It's a T height, body position, and the width of my stance, okay? I mean, they, they seem simple, obvious things, but they're not. And a lot of people do get them mixed up with their irons. So, I'm gonna take my T, put it in the ground, and what am I looking for? First thing, I'm trying to get half of that golf ball above the top of the club head. And you can see here, or from here, that half of that golf ball is just above the top of the club. So we've got half down and half up, okay? That's outside the top of the club head. That's very important. Now, if you've got a swing where you're swinging down on the golf ball, yeah, you're gonna have it lower. And if you swing up, you're gonna have it a little higher. But this is a good reference point to start with. Now, so let's talk about the, the body position. We want as, max, as much speed as we can possibly have. Now, to get that, we wanna be hitting, if possible, we wanna be hitting that golf ball swinging up on our upswing, okay? So our angle of attack is positive and not negative. What do we do? We start with our feet together. For a right-handed golfer, and I'm just gonna move my left foot out a little bit, maximum the width of a golf ball, and I'm gonna move my right foot quite a lot out. So, I've done two things here. I've got a great ball position for the driver, that's gonna allow me to hit the golf ball swinging up. I've widened my feet, which has put my sternum more behind the golf ball. So if I'm here, my sternum is in line. If I widen my stance, my sternum now is behind, and that will allow me to have my low point of my swing here, and that's gonna allow me to hit the golf ball swinging up, positive angle of attack. Not only that, feet wider apart is gonna give me a good stable base. Now from here, I'm just gonna tilt my right shoulder back, which is gonna allow me to have my spine angle tilted behind the golf ball. Once again, that's gonna help me swing up on the golf ball, creating more speed. Okay, so that's very important. Now to get this shoulder angle correct, nice simple tip, hands on both legs, just lower your right hand, until you touch the top of your knee. So you can see automatically my right shoulder has dropped. Okay, put my hands together. Now I'm in a good position. So this will be a great start to hit a good driver. Yeah, good. Let's go to step number two. So step number two. Now we need to talk about the golf swing, how we can create more power. What we don't want to be doing is swinging just with the arms. The arms are not going to give us the power and the speed that we need. Okay, so we've got to use the body. We've got to get our body rotating fully behind the golf ball, so my shoulders have really turned, but all of my body's rotated. And then I drive into my left leg and I rotate back through to a full finish here and get my arms working with my body. So big turn, gives space for lots of speed and power. Grip pressure, I want to be a little bit lighter in the hands. From one to 10, if I'm gripping that club at number 10, Right, that's as hard as I can grip it. I'm, my muscles are gonna to be too much in tension, okay, and I'm just gonna lose so much speed. Where number one would be, I'd have no control, I'm too loose in my hands. So I wanna be around the number four and number five. We don't wanna be reaching number six or seven. So I'd say number five is a good grip pressure, somewhere in the middle. That allows us to have speed, yet control. So with our new setup, good position, ball to the left, slightly tilted behind, lighter grip pressure, we're gonna get ourselves rotating, behind the golf ball and through to a full finish, getting the arms working with the body. We just need to get the third thing. We want a good rhythm. Okay, so we want the speed on the golf ball. We wanna be hitting up on that golf ball, but we want the speed there. So everything's gonna be nice and slow, nice and easy. And we're just gonna feel big acceleration at the last point. But the acceleration is not just from the hands and arms, it's from my body rotation. Okay, that's exactly what I want to feel, that feeling there. Body's rotating faster, hands and arms can go faster. Last thing to remember, we are hidden up, we've created the positions, so if you can imagine, like I'm going to take a, a, a kick at a football, I'm going to try and score a guy, I'm coming in from the inside, I'm going to hit up on it. 
or a tennis shot, I'm gonna hit up. I'm trying to create this thing of hitting the ball high. If I strike it good, taking off the spin, as much spin as I can off the golf ball, so it flies high, it lands, and it will run a lot. So I wanna get that feeling of up, okay? Up, they're, they're the feelings and, and through. So let's give it a try. Lighter grip pressure, slightly tilted behind it, big turn, softer hands, maybe number five, and let's hit up on it powerfully. Yeah, that was really good. I really felt I turned hard and I had a lot of speed and I definitely hit up on it and there was very little spin on that ball. Let's go to number three. Right, step number three. This is the important part about being consistent. So we wanna try and get everything we've done in the first two steps. We wanna put them together so I have that powerful goal swing, hitting that golf ball a long way, but we need to get consistent in our pre-shot routine. This is where the golf pros work really hard. You have to, to be consistent in all the little details that we talked about, but also when it's time to hit the golf ball, we wanna go into automatic. We don't wanna be thinking too much. So what is it we need to be doing? We need to create fluidity to the whole thing. We need everything to run smoothly. So what do I do? I get myself behind this golf ball. I'm visualizing the shot that I need to, to hit. I'm behind, I'm looking at a point, I'm, I'm aiming to something just in front of the golf ball. I've picked a point just about here. That's where the golf ball has to fly over. So I've got a point that I can focus my, my attention to. Now, I'm gonna hit this up the right side of the fairway. I'm looking, and what do I do now? I breathe. <sighs> Diaphragm breathing. I want to feel like expand my belly. <sighs> and that starts to calm everything down. So now I'm starting to relax. I'm seeing my shot, the brain's working. Everything's starting to, to, to be positive at this point. So I set up to the golf ball. I go through my routine. Feet together, left foot, then right foot. I get myself tilted. But what do I do now? I stay in movement. I move the club, I move my hands, I'm trying to stay light in my grip pressure. I'm looking at the target, then I'm looking at my little point in front of the golf ball. And what do I need to be doing here? I need to breathe again. So these are the steps that I'm going through to, to get everything working together and then to go into automatic. So I'm on the golf ball, I'm a few seconds. When I take my last look, I look back at the golf ball, bang, I go. I don't think, I just get on with it. So I'm just gonna go for it quickly. Nice breath, aiming at my intermediate target. Left foot, right foot, slightly tilted behind. Keep the waggles going, keep it relaxed. Another breath. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Up the right side, beautiful little draw. I really like that one, I'm really happy with it. So listen, these are free tips, not just to help you hit it longer, not just to help you hit it straighter, but to keep it consistent. And you must be consistent on every little detail. Be your best. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking the subscribe button, the bell button next to it, so you never miss a video like this one.